We are live. This is going to be so fun. We have a special guest, as you can see, if you're watching on YouTube, Miss Angelica Jackson. Hello, everyone. PAC. PAC. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, Dale thought her last name Pac-Man. was. I'm an idiot. Dale thought her last name was Pack because on her her what was it on her? Where did you see on Pac- my Instagram? Oh, Instagram. It's in Helica oh. Jackson P A C. Okay, for my degree. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, P A C is her degree. Jackson's yeah. her last name. Yes. Well, I'm different. All my like all my things are the beginning of my name. Lord Dale, Uncle Dale, <laughs> Reverend Dale. I'm not smart enough to have it behind my name. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> behind your name is he tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we have a fun episode today. We have Angelica in here. She's actually a friend of our wives, um, and we've talked about this before, about doing a Brotox party. Yes. And so Angelica hit me up. She's like, hey, let's do it. She wanted to come on, and uh, so we're going to talk to her about aging, how much me and Vaughn get rid of these frown lines. Yeah, I don't have a frown, man. Mine are smile lines. You're uh, your 11s? My I heard Crystal, I heard Crystal say something about the elevens. So. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so right in here, <laughs> yeah. little worry, you know the. You don't have elevens. It's because I. It's like you do this for a living. <laughs> I, I know. I imagine that. It's I like mean. an attorney not having legal problems. <laughs> no kidding. So uh, tell me a little about. So what do you do exactly? What's your profession? Where do you work? Yeah. So um. So I am a physician associate. Okay. And not Pac-Man or oh. married to Pac-Man. <laughs> and um, so what that is is you um, you have a medical degree. You can diagnose, treat, prescribe medications. And so I started out in dermatology. I did medical derm, surgical derm, and then aesthetic derm. But this was way back in the day when, I mean, it was like 10 years ago when no one talked about Botox or fillers or anything. It was like they would come in for their derm appointment and then it was like, I was someone's dirty secret they would get done. Uh, Um, But now, I mean, you see it. Yeah, exactly. Now it's everywhere. And so I had an art scholarship originally when I finished uh, high school and wound up going for my medical degree and finishing that too. But when during the derm practice, when they're training me on the aesthetic portion, it was like, oh, wow, you're looking at light reflexes. You're looking at it differently than you would from a medical standpoint. So it kind of helps to have that background so that everyone looks natural. Uh, so it's like, art. It's like it an art. I mean, yeah, it's it, basically it is, an art, it, like so, the art of injection. But so as I'm looking at someone, like it, you, we've all seen the people who are maybe a little bit overdone, things like that. But it's it's those little things that I look at to make sure no one ever looks overdone. They you look like yourself. Want to be subtle, you know? That's exactly. Re- that's a really good way. I never would even think about something like that. You re- basically are an artist. Yeah. Of the skin. Yeah, because yeah, you you could just go in and inject people and say you do it, but if you correct, you want people to come to you. Then you're like, hey, I go here. Like, you couldn't even tell, but you can, like, there's no wrinkles, but you could tell that, uh, like, that'd be the best yeah. advertisement for you. So, like, for, for patients, I'll tell them, like, after I do stuff, because I do a lot of advanced techniques where I use cannulas, so not a needle, um, but I'll make a puncture with the needle, say, here, but then I'll use that blunt tip cannula, and what that means is just round tips, so it doesn't cut through the skin, doesn't cut through vessels. You have you minimize those risks. So what I can do from one point, I can go all the way underneath the eyes and do the tear troughs deformity where you get that kind of shadow under there, but then I can turn it around and then do your actual cheekbone because doing that and this will actually kind of lift and smooth everything out to where we've lost that because the cheeks are the structure. And a lot of people, you know, you don't, you don't want to have any downtime. You don't want to be bruised, especially around the eyes and yeah, face. You don't want anyone to tell that you had anything done. So by doing these different techniques, and I'll do it for the lower face two and jawline, um, it's like, look, people are going to look at you and they're going to say, you look different. But it's not like, oh, you got cheek filler or you got eye trough filler or you did Botox. You know, It's, man, you look good. What, what'd you do? Yeah. And that's what you want. Like, you don't want milk. To, yeah, mm-hmm. you don't want to... What is that? It's a badger milk. Badger milk. I don't uh, know about this. Well, if I bruise, I'll just tell people Crystal hit me. They they believe yeah. it. Yeah. There you yeah. go. She's, she's rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Crystal's been doing it for quite a while. Uh, and she loves it. I mean, like I said, yeah. she, she wants some giveaway thing from a, one of the Instagram things. Oh, nice. From one of the doctors that she actually went to for another surgery. And so... She's been uh, doing that for a while, which is nice. Cause, yeah. You know, you I mean, know. you just age gracefully. Like, you know, I'm yeah. closer to 40, but people think I'm in my, you know, 20s. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm not at all. <laughs> Crystal just turned 40. Well, I'll be 40 yeah. next year, so. Dude, I can't wait till you're 40. Dude, I know. I'm taking so, off that uh, whole month. So, yeah. For, so, for us, I was like, okay, it'd be fun, one, to do this, like we talked about doing. And then I, I want to talk about uh, 
you know, it was a taboo thing, and now it's like everywhere. I mean, yeah. like, you see commercials, full commercials for it. You see people talking about it. Like, used to be you know, back in the days, having the the episodes on like Inside Edition or whatever E News. Like, they had they had they had work done? Oh, now yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, like, what well, yeah I had, had work done. done. This yeah. is what I had done. Like, people were yeah. promoting it. Well, now it's the opposite. It's like, wait, you don't do something yeah. for your wrinkles? Like, why? Why <laughs> haven't you done this? Like now, you know, like my husband's friends and things will go out to the bars and they're like, oh my gosh, look at that guy's wrinkle. Should we go talk to them? Do you have a card on you? And I'm like, just leave them alone. But they're like, I don't think they know that they can fix that, you know? So when when was the shift for guys to start being more uh, open to do it, you think? I feel like it's been recent. I, I feel... Because I've had patients. I've had guys okay. come. It but was just hush, hush. I, I feel like okay. they don't talk about it They still. don't talk about See, it. See, I... I will tell people. Yeah. I, so I'll do it on camera. Yeah. As a matter of fact. <laughs> and then broadcast it across... The entire world. We're on number thirteen podcast in Thailand, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. But I, I still feel like that's it, still taboo for men, and I don't think I think it's maybe because of the masculinity complex that that our society's in, instilled within us. But I don't want to get you know philosophical. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I get that. And I like, just made that word up. I can already know when I tell buddies are like, yeah, I, I do a lot of guys in plants or refineries. Like they're gonna give me shit about it, which is mm-hmm. fine, and I'm gonna like it doesn't bother me one bit. So I'm gonna be really open about it. Uh, even social media stuff like that's gonna be fun to just yeah. say and you know we're gonna name this party this this thing bro talk party because oh yeah we're gonna yeah. make sure everybody knows what we did what we did yeah, yeah. well it'd be nice too once you guys get your before and afters i'll put them together real well and yeah. that we kind of see and compare it because that you don't realize i feel like when I, people come in for the follow-up and we do that and take a look at it together they don't realize how, how much, much of a change? difference it yeah they're like oh i didn't realize it was that bad day. yeah you just right. and they're like wow i don't want to get back to there you know, so, so what does that timeline usually look like? Sorry. Uh, oh, I mean, like say so if you like say so if you do it, how how does this stuff work? Like what is? I guess so walk it, us through this. So so toxin. There's different things. There's fillers. There's toxin. Toxin is going to be really what's going to kind of immobilize that muscle because that muscle when it creases, it's going to crease the skin and it, it leaves that fold, which is a wrinkle. So it's how many years that you've been folding and making that expression. So you get that line at rest. Um, but when you use a toxin it blocks that receptor so that that muscle cannot contract. It's the only time that we really want atrophy or that weakness of that muscle in our body um, because obviously we want muscles everywhere else, but there we don't necessarily need them because for expression, you know. Yeah. But um, it smooths that out. It starts to kick in. I mean, there's different products that kick in differently. Some take up to two weeks. Uh, the newest one, which is Daxify, can kick in, which we've, we've seen in the office about like the next day i've seen you post so. that one. that's one like lasts longer right yes yeah so, so longer when you, duration when you posted that screenshot sent to crystal i said hey look at this one because she always yeah. said hey, you got to go every three four six months, however it is mm-hmm. i guess it depends she she works out she goes so if you work out it can be sooner i guess correct correct yeah do. so you burn it up quicker okay. you metabolize it faster uh. so this is a different product with a different type of technology so it just has peptide technology. So what that means, it's almost like a, a lock and key bond, which the other ones don't. The other ones use human albumin to kind of get into that area. So by having that lock and key, that positive um, attraction to that area, it you're getting a longer duration that we're seeing. And we've kind of seen that, you know, if, if, you, if you do work out, like, she, you know, she does CrossFit and she works out all the time, she's metabolizing quicker, maybe she'd want to try the new Daxify right. and see how long her duration is because... You know, it gets hard to come in every so often, you know, when yeah. it's wearing off. But it's just something newer on the market to try it and see if you like it. But but it does kick in very quick. What, like, what is, like, the normal, like, if somebody goes and they get Botox <clears throat> in their face, wh- how long does that last? Like, so uh, it could uh, last, normal? like, two and a half months to three months. Okay. Is, so, but it's it's the only duration that we have on the market right now is, is three months. Okay. That's gotcha. about it. So this one's the longest duration that we've ever had. Wow. So I was at the dermatologist last week. Me too, actually. And I went to go and so I took uh, testosterone. Anyway, that's a long story. It, it didn't turn out well. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. So one thing I asked about, and if you listen to the podcast, you'll know I sweat out of one armpit. Mm, yeah, so that's, I can toxin that. That's the, I, and I asked I her. I do my armpits. It's I asked fantastic. her to do it. She was like, it's $1,300. Yeah. And it lasts for maybe three months. I'm like, no, you can get all of it like removed surgically, I think, for 2500 
I can I can scalp it. Dude, I, I mean, I want to do my armpit, just my right one. Or what if it starts? My, but, it yeah, well, I was just gonna say sweating on my do, left. Yeah, it's gonna find somewhere else to leave your body. I don't. Yeah. Why is that? Why is it that one armpit sweats and not the other? And I, it, it's not even when I'm hot. It's just no. whenever I'm sitting still. Like yeah. right now, I'm so it's moist. Just hyperhidrosis. <laughs> So hyperhidrosis in is one, just an excessive <laughs> amount of sweat. Armpit? Yeah. No, I, I used to do that too. So I wouldn't even be hot. I would be cold and I would just be dripping both sides. Really? And so when I was younger, like in high school, I would never wear long sleeve. Like I, I still have like a weird yeah. thing with long sleeve because obviously I don't have that problem anymore because I just put toxin in there. Um, but it's just like a mental thing. I just, I was so used to it, but I would have like pit stains. And so I'd wear tank tops yeah. in the winter. It didn't matter. Because <laughs> yeah. I was so embarrassed. So you mean to tell me tank tops fix this? If you had, if you no, had, if you had, I mean, I just didn't want the pit stains. Because, like, that's not cool for a girl. If you had arms like Vaughn, you, you wouldn't know? wear tank tops. <laughs> so, yeah. That's rude. <laughs> so, I mean, that's taking care of that. Because that's a bad to problem to it. have. Yeah. Well, let's do it. So, you know, the funny thing is, this is not, this is not going to be Vaughn's first time to get oh, Botox. I knew this was coming. I knew this mm. was coming. Yeah, it's not. No, I got uh, when I was younger. I, uh, I did, have we, I don't know if we've ever talked about. It. I, I did a bunch of acting and modeling, and I was coaxed into going to an underground Botox party. That sounds <laughs> that sounds like fun. And this Botox party was uh, I was people. I mean, I was twenty four years ago. I was fifteen. Yeah. So people were walking around. I don't know if they were doctors. I don't know what they were. Okay, <laughs> they had they dirty had, syringes. They had trays, and on the trays were syringes full of Botox. And they'd go around, and they would talk to somebody, and then they would say, you know, what do you want done, right? So me, I'm 15 years old. I need no Botox. But I was with people <laughs> who needed Botox, and they needed the reaffirmation that I needed it as well as they needed it, even though they're 50 years old. And so I actually got my upper lips and my lower lip done. <laughs> and if I tell you how bad that hurt, I hopefully the technology's yeah. came no, a long way. That's a sensitive area. It's like you know when you have like like if you have like a zit. Oh, they're so hurt. It, they hurt so and, bad it'll hair. make uh, and make you tear up. It, oh yeah. I, it'll make me cry. Right. Oh. And that's what it felt like six times. <laughs> So how were, what did your lips look like afterwards? Because when you put tox around the muscle, it keeps you from pursing in, or you know, it's hard to drink from a cup. It was re slobbering on yourself. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that I, was before. Because six <laughs> injections around there, that's that's a good amount. I feel like yeah, it was it was like it was like yeah, one, two, yeah, it was six. Uh, yeah, my my lips. I, I was talking a little funny. I remember. Was <laughs> it? <laughs> oh man, it looks so great. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> I was drooling everywhere. They're like, what's that? It's tox. <laughs> Doing the so, Zoolander face. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I, uh, I can't say it was a bad experience. Um, it didn't, I didn't see much changes for the fact that I remember saying like, I'm 15. <laughs> and <laughs> Sounds like a good I'm idea. 15. And the person was like, uh, oh, this was supposed to be 18 and up. Oh, then, after the fact. Yeah. Then you he got trouble for your unraged boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's move on. So here I am. You know what? I'm back at I'm back at 38. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm doing I'm, it the right I'm way. I'm ready now. for it. This time we're doing it legal. Mm -hmm. We have nobody with trays. Yeah, it's not underground. We we have somebody who is is has a degree in this and not somebody who was picked off a, a street. She was PAC. Yeah. PAC. That's a degree, right? Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. degree. Yeah. So you're in dermatology before how long were the, yeah. wait, did you do that? Oh man, a few years there. And then just went straight into doing aesthetics full time. Just we I was with a big uh, derm practice, so Okay. Like not everyone like even though they were a derm practice and you know, toxin kind of falls within that category, that one in plastics, it's they they didn't want to do it. They didn't do it a lot, so they were just kind of just sending everyone to me. And they're like, okay, you you just kind of do that. We uh, one of the doctors had a friend who had a med spa, and was like, hey, so and so, you know, I'd be great because then we'll just refer everyone that way. So okay. it just kind of fell into it because I get people all the time, and they're like, oh, how did you do this? I want to do what you do. I was like, derm plastics. I mean, get in there, get trained, and and I'm like, I just fell into it i didn't i was, didn't wake up and i was like hey that's what i want to do yeah yeah you know i went into right, right place right time yeah for sure. I, was, I went into derm because i had terrible skin i had acne and everything so i wanted to 
you know, you want to do what you know. And it's like, I wanted to do that patient education and let people know why this medication, maybe you failed on it and just take the time to help them through that and then kind of work. See, out I, I had, I had acne bad after, like I was in my twenties, early twenties. I did Accutane, like I did everything. Oh yeah, same. Like growing up, dude, I did great. everything like freaking all these antibiotics, like stuff would tear my stomach up. Dude, mm. it just never helped me. I think all it did was make me more successful to, susceptible to sun. Oh yeah. But now I go to the dermatologist every four, six months. And Good. they usually cutting something off of me every yeah. once in a while. I mean, I mean, I have something in my head, my back. I've had a bunch of them in my arms. So I go to the same guy in Lake Charles. I drive, I drive to Lake Charles still. Same oh, guy. So, uh, I've been going to the same guy since I was 18. Oh, so he knows me. Like he, I mean, he's like, that. I didn't remember that from last time. I'm going to cut it off. I mean, he's, <laughs> that's how nice. detailed this guy is. But, uh, I mean, hell, he's the same <clears> way. <throat> he goes to the dermatologist because. Yeah, because Dale talked me into it. Which is good. I, I think more people, place, yeah, you dude. need to go in. You I know, mean, I, I never, I never <clears throat> was big on skincare stuff. I've played golf my whole life. Never wore sunscreen, never wore a hat, you know, rarely, never, never wore sunglasses until recently. And, uh, yeah, that, that did a little bit of damage and I never had acne as a kid. I did not start getting acne until I was 39 on my back, back to my testosterone. Did he get his back? The back knee. His back oh, came it up. Is, no, it's like oh scarred. My. It's oh. scarred. It is so bad. Like it's, it's to the point. I'm not, I don't get embarrassed, but like it, it's embarrassing. <clears throat> like my testosterone levels got so high that I feel like, like if I was outside, it was like bacon, a chicken. Oh man. I mean, that's how much grease was in my body. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and you know, we're working through that. Yeah. Well, I, there's things that you could do for actually acne scarring where I put filler and I can pop them out. So I've, I've done that a lot with some of my scarring on my face. But. I was told by my dermatologist last week to not pop acne on my oh, back. Definitely not. And you're a picker. Okay. I'm not a picker. His wife is. But let me tell you. <laughs> I could just say <laughs> it is, on his back. It, it's an obsession. And it's one of those things like where she's like, <gasps> and she gets so excited. And I'm not saying this to be, to yeah. say it in a bad way, but that's just, she loves to do <clears throat> to like pick at stuff and i you know i've I've got an armor shirt now that has tried you know she you know helps me she always wants to pick even and if she doesn't find something she'll find something (laughs) she's like oh what's that (laughs) yes i've been real big on the like dermatology man i've always man i'm yeah even my my mom still called me you've been doctor lately because she knows but i've been going this guy every six months literally since i was 18 years old and so just now he's like, hey, why don't you come every four months just because things can change. And, you know, one month, like he goes, 50% of what you have could turn into melanoma. Yeah. Other 50% could be <clears throat> brand new stuff that's melanoma. He goes, so catching something a month earlier is a big difference. So he's yeah. like, I want you every four months. I'm like, God, because I got moles. I mean, I'm just, Everywhere. I got moles. Are, yeah. I'm just well, how, how I am. And there was this guy, he came in to see me because he had a rash, just allergic reaction rash all over. <laughs> Take off his shirt, look at his back. And I was like how long have you had this mole on your shoulder? He was like, oh, I was born with it. It's fine. I was like, no, it's not. And I was like, I don't want to freak you out, but I'm going to take a biopsy and just be prepared. You're going to have to come back. We're going to have to cut the whole thing out. And I was like, it looks like melanoma. And this guy, I mean, he was, I think he was a a vet. Uh, He was, I mean, he was, he had never, ever gone in, but, and everyone, it was just, he was born with it. So he never thought it was a concern. So that's something too. just go in, make an appointment, but it came back. Yeah. It was melanoma. Oh shit. And it's like, this was a blessing that you got this rash and came in, but it's like everyone at least needs to go for a skin check I, I, and then just, just make sure, especially like on your feet, like, you know, um, Bob Marley, he had, um, his was on his foot. Really? So it's like, you open up the toes, you look everywhere. Dude. When I would do this body check, I was, you know, you look underneath the feet you got to be careful. Man, I, go, I go to the same guy. Know. Dude, I get in there, <laughs> take my shirt off, examine everything. He does my, he's found two of my hair. Yeah. Like he searches my head like a yeah. freaking monkey. And then he, he, <laughs> I got a big one cut off here. He, I got another one cut off just recently. I had to go to derm surgery to get more cut out. Mm-hmm. And then I do that. Then I drop my pants. He searches everywhere. I hold my junk. I mean, I'm dude, like he. Yeah, you he, never know where they're going to be. toes, between your toes, by yep. my feet. He, and he'll be like, man. I don't know. Was that here last time? I'm like, yeah, it was. Or I'm like, I don't know. And uh, I mean, that's how this guy, he's probably close to 70 years old. So he doesn't but, check your junk is what I just heard. If you're covering it. He asked me, I'm like, dude, I'm good. You know, I'm like, <laughs> trust me, that's not melanoma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, no, so I've always been, but like I said, yeah, so probably before, hell, I think me and Chris, so me and Chris got married at 24, and I still had acne bad then. Like, not terrible, but just bad. And I finally was like, dude, you got to do something, bro. Like, I'm too old for this. Like, I just, So I did Accutane for like nine months, which is a lot longer than what yeah. you're supposed to. But I did it for so long <laughs> to clear it up. I was like, it's, it's a miracle drug. It, it literally you. is a cure for acne. I, I love people, that I stuff. Like, I, told my, I told my kids, I'm like, hey, if you ever have it bad, trust me, I, I am going to go somebody to get that for you because it's, a, it's something you don't want to live with, man. It's no, no. Not when you can get around it uh, now. Yeah. Because they didn't want to prescribe it back then yeah. because of the suicidal thoughts and different things that they cause I had to have a call every, every month. Was before. it high, high vitamin E? Yeah. Well, you have to, um, vitamin A. It's vitamin, vitamin A. And then, That's um, what and what you want, you want to make sure that no one gets pregnant on it. That's yep. a big concern too. So now you have to do like the whole eye pledge, check in every month, do blood work. And it's, it seems like it's a lot of steps, but it's so worth it. Dude, I didn't care. We had so many people in our practice on it and like, we never had any problems. It's just the dry skin crack lips. The dry skin. I was like, dude, it was but having that dry red skin for the while was like refreshing. I was like, Oh my God. Yeah. Just because I Dry know what's going to happen yeah. after this. I was, like, I was given the option last week <clears throat> to do Accutane, and I said no. I'm, that's the only thing that's going to clear your back up. Yeah, if your back is still active, then you get on it. It's, active is an understatement. Oh, yeah, get on it. <laughs> I got the big, it's really I got the good big apple not, walking yeah, on my back. <laughs> see, you need to. <laughs> but no, uh, so uh, yeah, I got, uh, what did she give me? She gave me um, a blood pressure medication. Spironolactone, mm-hmm. um, doxycycline. Yeah, I love doxy. And what is doxycycline? It's an antibiotic, but at a low prescription, it's anti-inflammatory. Kind of helps with the inflammation. And, and she also gave me some this cream called Clindo. Clindamycin. There you go. Yeah. Well, one thing that was not mentioned to me when I first started taking it is when you put it on your back, you need to put on a white shirt. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll oh, change colors. It had some benzoyl peroxide in it, though. Yep. Yeah, it's it mixture. Did. And yeah. I woke up the next day, and my navy sheets <laughs> oh, had no. I had the. Uh, it bleached my sheets, <laughs> dude. When I back when I used to have to do like different topical stuff, because I was always telling my doctor, I said, "Dude, it's not nothing." Like I wash my face, I keep myself clean. I said, "Mine is from the inside out." I'm telling you, something in my hormones, something was going on. Because you know what I noticed? It was back in those days whenever I was working out, and I would take some, I was taking some pro hormone stuff. Yes. Like, oh, and yeah. then you didn't you didn't take estrogen blockers. No, 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 no. But but when I took those, my face was more clear then. Mm. It was weird. So it was mine was all horm- hormonal because I knew it wasn't just because like oh and you wash your face with this or that. It no. wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a cleanliness thing. It was more of a uh, internal. And so man, once I did Accutane, dude, it was just. Boom! That it was Changed awesome, it. but I mean, blood work every three or four weeks I yeah. mean, for nine months. I mean, they I, knew me in there. I feel yeah. like I need to start washing my back with a pumice stone or a cool. lava rock. That would not be oh good. God, no! Don't <laughs> aggravate it, please. <laughs> Don't make it more angry. Yeah. It's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd go back. Tell them. Uh, the, act- it's not check- that bad. The checking in every month and it's the blood not work on stuff. You know, if it was in a spot that was like noticeable. I don't know. I'll see where it goes, and then you know I gotta get I gotta get in summer shape. So if it's not cleared up by then, then we'll we'll look the Accutane route. Well, that takes a while. Then you're worse. You can't get in the summer Accutane. No, no, you can't. Okay, why is everything against me? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Just start it now. You know what? I have I have acne, winter. and I can't do anything because of it. Nope. Yeah. And you know it's okay. Yeah, All right, dude, so we're gonna go back to the doctor next week. I mean, like I said, I if. But with acne, what would it do to his face right now? I mean, he doesn't have any active lesions. So okay, it that's all, that do. only goes... You're it still going to be fine, but you're still going to have that sensitivity. Yeah. You but, still have to be careful. But I'm saying, but it doesn't do... I guess because I had the lesions on my face, that's why I did that. Correct. Okay, so like it, it would goes, attack that... Yeah, it just shuts down all of your, your oil glands, basically. Will it help me stop sweating under my right armpit? armpit? Uh, no, that's your sweat gland. It's a little different. Yeah. yeah, unless you have oily but, sp- sweat. Yeah, Dude, I'm, oily sometimes sweat. sometimes it feels a little, lu- a little lubricated. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. We'll just inject that with some toxin. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. So, who, how long has Botox been around? Uh, Botox has been around for like 20 years. Okay. So, it's older technology, so it's kind of nice to get something, new, something newer. New to, yeah. new to market? Yeah. I had Botox longer than 20 years ago. Is anybody else promoting it? 
Oh, the, um, the for stuff? the Dexify. So around um, here, I'm saying because I've seen you. Cause yeah, I follow yeah. You, but... There's really not that many. Um, what they did, the company, it's Revance Aesthetics. Um, they're actually, it's the first toxin that's actually been made in the U.S. So that's huge. So um, it's just a little different the way that they're launching it, just because you know there's been other products in the aesthetic market that it's like, hey, we've got it. Who wants it? Everyone gets it, and it's different from when you do a study to when you're actually live in clinical situations. We wanna see, we wanna roll it out slowly, that, that's what they're doing, and they're trying to be mindful. And we already have a relationship with Revance Aesthetics. We use a lot of their filler, the RHA. So we're using it, and then we're gonna give them feedback. So it's truly helping the industry because, hey, let's see how it really truly performs when we inject it. And everyone has different techniques. So we'll see what works for me. We'll report back to, you know, to Revance and let them know, look, so you're doing this works. Yeah. yeah. And it, it just helps industry in the long run rather than just everyone getting it, everyone doing their own. Because there's different di dilutions. You can do different units here or there. Um, there's just so many different variables, you know. It just, it's easier to just control it, get it right, and then spread that information and help everyone else. Yeah, you don't want to rush into something like that. No. So what's the uh, what's the price difference between a regular <clears throat> toxin that you've been doing versus the one that lasts longer? I'm, I'm guessing there's yeah. a premium for that. Being so, there's, that it's a so there is a, diff a difference, but it's not obscene, okay. you know. Um, but you are going to pay for, you know, a different duration. Yeah. But, and then the way that Revance does it, it's, it's more, it's a designer kind of product. Like their fillers are designer products. So it's a, you know, prestige product with a prestige prize, but like, you're not going to pay an arm and a leg. It's not. But do be, you, you pick know? that? Like, say that 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 brand. If you go in, like, hey, I'm going to get fillers. Do you have like options? Hey, you got this filler. Oh this filler? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So you don't have to. Yeah, you can choose. So if you want something shorter acting, we have we have everything. Like we've injected Botox. We have. Oh, okay. You know, I've worked at Disport. Um, are all Juvo. the are all the toxins essentially the same? I mean, it's a is it botulism? It is botulism. So what? that's. It's basically, it causes botulism, which is where it paralyzes that muscle. It's just not systemic, where it's through your whole body, because that can kill it's, you. It's localized, yeah. It's localized. And so what it does is paralyze that muscle. But okay. for a certain amount of time, say three months, you know, with your previous toxins, and this one's can be up to six months. I mean, honestly, it's like now it's like anything over that, you know, four-month duration is going to be amazing but yeah. i mean there were people that lasted six months and there were you know that's about the the me medium like the yeah. average but then there were some people that even reported nine months so is, i don't want to there, promise that but are there like actual toxins that you can inject locally that will actually spread throughout your body t to like go full paralyzed? no I'm like just i'm asking this no for, that's a good for, question for fear yeah so um <laughs> Not, so not my fear. <laughs> like, people would want to know, you know, no, can this spread my question. whole body? And, and if you have that, yeah, I does, want you to inject local? Dale with that. So, so that is... <laughs> I'll just drink the bottle. <laughs> He's willing to try anything. Hey, I do love shots. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> Put in a shot glass. Um, it's just a little different. Um, there are different indications. So when you see that that systemic spread or the likelihood of a systemic spread, it's because this is for an aesthetic indication where we're injecting it locally, but Botox also has therapeutic indications for like spasticity. So anyone who has any kind of spastic limbs, they're injecting lots more than what we do cosmetically. Okay. So that runs into can, can different, transport. correct. Or depending on what your muscle groups are, if it spreads to that, yeah. um, so we don't really see that at all with aesthetics. Okay. You know, which is Dale spastic. So what do you tell somebody that comes in there and it's like, hey, I want to get this done, but I'm scared or what? Like, what oh you, yeah, we get that all the time. What is or your especially scared of needles? Like is the probably yeah, one. all the virgins that come in and they're like, I kind of, I think I need filler here. I need something for these wrinkles. Um, I just talk to them about what they want because you know we're there to guide them. So I'll just hand them the mirror. Just look into the mirror with me, tell me what your concerns are. Cause I don't ever want to point something out that maybe they haven't looked at. And I'm <laughs> like, like oh, I yeah, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that before. Yeah, it's, just, it's just really patient education because sometimes people will say, Hey, I want to get rid of these lines. Mm -hmm. You're like, what about this? Fill these. Like, oh. <laughs> but, but if you don't take the time for that patient education, then yeah. you know, you can overfill someone and they look odd and that's where they look off. Yeah. And it's like, well, no, what you really want to do is kind of lift this up a little bit, but you're, you're looking at them as they're smiling, you know, really dynamic movement as well but with the lines you know sometimes they're they'll tell you oh i just want my forehead done i'm like well you know 
these muscles are also interacting with the forehead muscles. It's all everything, it's all the way, if you look at the anatomy, it, it's all kind of blended together. You know, this muscle goes through this one, it blends with this one, and, and it, one will pull up while one pulls down. Mm-hmm. So you kind of have to look it up together. So like if you want the forehead treated, you do really need to do the glabella area is what this is. So that's where you have the 11s and then you have the procerus that cuts through for that horizontal line. Did the, you know that? I know the procerus. Yeah. The, the procerus. I know that one. Yeah. Mascara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, have you ever had anyone come in that is like, it, when you see them, you're like, I'm not going to touch you just for they've so overdone it yeah yeah we we do have that and it's just you know they want more and more in their lips and it's like no i feel like you're maxed out but then you just you don't stop there you say look here's the mirror this is where your cutaneous lip starts and if you add more in here there's nowhere for it to go it's going to spread into your cutaneous lip it's not gonna be in your actual lip and it's gonna it's gonna look odd and then we have fat lip yeah it's just it's gonna spread it and gives you almost like a little mustache Oh, like, and you don't you like don't want that. Yeah. I love mustaches. <laughs> on chicks. <laughs> on chicks. <laughs> Dude. That's horrible. So what, what percent would you say at your practice are men that come in there? Oh, maybe like thirty. Wow. That's 30? that's yeah. a lot we higher have a lot. than I would have well, thought. In, in our and, area it makes sense. And you said um, you know, you, you work with guys at work that are, you know, yeah. where, was that again? Uh, in, the, in the plants. In and, the plants yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And we do have guys who come in the plants. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I should, you, yeah. know, I, you, you deal with this guy that, that are macho men. They don't want Oh, to... absolutely. But they're they're like, no, yeah. take care of this. I'll <laughs> I, see you. I'm see you in a bit. I'm 100% not. And they're like. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I'm not 100% at all. Well, I've got, you know, I've got guys who work out on the ranch, you know, just everyone. <laughs> a lot of realtors, anyone who's, you know, on camera, things like that too. You know, they well, have to. Well, more so know, I've gotten older. I'm like, and I'll see pictures. I'm like, God dang, I look freaking old. You know? Like, yeah. Just because you, depending on some of the filter, if it's a darker filter, you see those more. I'm like, golly. I mean, yeah. you really, I mean, it's a lot of vanity, but I, you see that, you're like, yeah, crap, man. Well, um, and back in the day, it's like people made you feel guilty. Like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be spending on yourself. And I'm like, but it's kind of self-care. It's like, if the shingles on your house are, are tearing and you need to repair things. Put like, toxin on them. You, no. Oh, yeah. Just inject them. It just fixes everything. Uh, but it's like you repair your house, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like you want to make sure you're maintaining yourself, too. Because, yeah. I mean, when you you feel good when you look in the mirror and it's like, oh, that's that's how I feel inside, you know? Rather than something else reflecting back. And now it's the opposite of where before it's like, oh, it was hush-hush. No one talked about it. And now it's like, oh, why aren't you doing it? You yeah. Know? Yeah. I'm, I, I think for... I think it's a culture thing. Again, I think for for women, there's this more there's an emphasis on beauty and perfection much more than there is for men. I think yeah. very true. Um, and I think when you see like the people who go overboard or you know, get, there you can get addicted to such stuff like this. I mean, that's, yeah. that's oh, I plan on I plan on it. And I'm and, and that's my problem <laughs> is I probably will. Dude, you're like Dale. We can't make your lips any bigger. Yeah, yeah. And, like you're maxed out. You're cut off. <laughs> We're gonna eighty six you. But it's it's uh you know I, I'm I'm excited to get it done you know. Yeah. yeah uh, but you but Dale wants to do um, one in a weird spot. What's the weirdest spot you've ever had to put Botox? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I good mean, question. I I think it would be more like that. I've been asked to put it in. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we didn't talking. do so it. So asked and then actual. Let's yeah. See. But we were talking about like the spasticity. Uh, yeah. You know, and problems there, you know, there's guys that it's, they call it scrotox, but it's where, you know, your actual like scrotum will go into a spasm. Can you imagine that? Like a Charlie horse down there. Oh, I felt wow. so bad for the guy. I was trying your to find him scrotum? someone. Scrotum? Yeah. The, the actual scrotum itself, or is it like the it's, perennial it's, area? It's a little muscle that pulls up and down. Really? Wow. So that's that, where Dale wants it. That was one. That's where yeah. Dale said he wanted it. Yeah, that started today. <laughs> uh, so, did you do that? No, no. Okay, no, I didn't. I'm about to say no. it's gonna be kind of weird. But it's hard. I felt bad because it's like I was trying to h- find somewhere for him to go. Because it's like I don't, I don't want to just try something new like that. Yeah. You know, what, there's got to be a but there, talk to yeah, expert. Yeah, but it, it was hard to find around here, especially around Houston. But yeah, I think that would be the. That was the weirdest the, spot. The that's, most. Oh, it's not weird. Really, I mean, if you think about really, medical, but at least that was medical. Yeah, yeah. Of I mean, course. nobody's like, like, he went no, just trying to smooth it out. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. It wasn't for looks. Yeah. So there's there's not been anybody that's like, hey, you know, do 
you know, Botox in between my toes. No, no. I mean, There's only like so, so much you can do. I'm trying to think of other areas. I guess what's the, weird, what's, what's the spot you've done before you're like, man, this is just kind of odd, but I'll do it. I don't know. Anything like that? No, no, not really. It's because, out there. because if it's like if if they want me to do it and there's no medical like there's no reason I mean, to do it. Is, I just is there any other know. medical reasons that you do in your place that's not on the face? That's more so what I'm curious. Yeah, about. yeah, we do the neck, okay. where you know you have this like sheet of muscle. It's real yeah. thin. Um, there, it's called your platysma, and it kind of connects from here down, and it can blunt your jawline. So I'll inject down here and into here and. And mine is tossed up, so I can't really do it. But where you, <laughs> I just gotta that. Like, but where if I was, I you right would up. have these bands that pull down, yeah. And that all blunts that jawline. But then you start to get that kind of like old skin here, so you can actually inject there and across to smooth it all out. But then even for those necklace lines, I'll put filler in there too to help. But that's an area we talked about the underarms. Oh man. That under, one's a good one. I do it for arm. the nasal tip. As you um, smile, sometimes this little muscle right here, little depressor, it'll pull down so you get like a droopy tip. And then you just <laughs> put some on there and <laughs> <Magnus is doing laughs> it. he's like, I want that. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Dude." laughs> Let me get a, a tip lift. This yeah. is this is just so interesting. So if somebody comes in and says, hey, I need a Botox, just the tip, you know what they're talking about. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> We're in a professional <laughs> establishment okay. here. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I didn't know what people asked for. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been at this place? What's the Bay Area? Yeah, I'm at Bay Area Aesthetics. It's right there um, by Baybrook Mall. Really quick, easy to get to. So uh, we moved to this area um, during the actual pandemic. Is it across the highway? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've seen it. Yeah, I yeah. Thought that was yours. It's, okay. it's like the six-story yep. building. Yeah, the office building right there across oh. from Snooze. Oh, okay, okay. I yep. know where that's yep. at. So yep. how long have you been with this company? Uh, so I've been with them um, like two years now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where did y'all move from? Um, so we, well, I'm originally from San Diego area, California, mm -hmm. San Diego. Met, met my husband while he was in the military. Um, and then we've kind of moved all over. We were in Corpus Christi prior to moving here. So That's we're still I'm in going. Texas in Corpus. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to work in Corpus. Nice. I had yes, a branch on Leopard Street. Oh yeah. Worst, worst road in the United States. Nice. Golly. Yeah. It was beat up roads. Oh, I know. Yeah, well, I, That's when we like, first moved here. I was like, what is wrong with Texas? What is this? Terrible. It was crazy. San but Diego's pretty sweet. The roads over here are much better. Yeah, San Diego's nice. San Diego is awesome. Were you, the were weather's you, incredible. So you were doing Durham in San Diego? No, no. That um, was all here? So there Texas. I was actually in the ER. Well, actually, I started out in ortho, and then I went to the ER. I was an EMT at Loma Linda University in Temecula, California. It's like the wine country. It's mm -hmm. a little north of yeah. um, San Diego. It's beautiful. I bet. So nice. You so know I've the, kind of done everything. I, I guess in the, your profession now, um, you know... I always wanted to be a doctor. That's, that's a whole nother, a whole nother deal. Um, I guess what you do now is there's not a lot of people that call and have an emergency. Nobody needs an emergency Botox. Uh, to them it is. They're they like, do. I need to get this cookies in. <laughs> it's party. almost the holidays. <laughs> yeah, well, my birthday's coming up. I need lip injections and, and yesterday. That's, and that's in between. And like, don't bruise me. I'm like. <laughs> and that's in between eight and five. But like an ortho, you're going to have oh, something, yeah. you know, a car wreck or something. Yeah. You're going to have to no. go into the hospital. and Just. Just for your sanity, it's so much better. Like, you don't have to tell someone, hey, you've got a melanoma, and we're yeah. going to check. I just, and then working in the ER, I mean, we had codes and gunshot, like, it was just, there was so much going on. I was so much younger then and didn't have kids, so I could compartmentalize, yeah. and now looking back, it's like, man, I don't know how I do that. So it's just better for my sanity. Now you just, now you just have people come in well. and you'd be like, oh, you are ugly. <laughs> Definitely not what I do. But you think it. You think no. it. You think it. You, no. know, you think it. You, not I, I guarantee you. Like I'm not a miracle worker. Uh, I, I guarantee you there's been times you're like, Botox ain't going to help this. Mm -mm. Good guy. I'm going to slap you with a toxic and, shovel. No, and honestly, sometimes like there's nothing that I can do for them. And it's like a skin laxity. I'm like, you need plastic surgery. Yeah. But I'm not going to waste their money on something that you know may not help them. I would tell them after them. I do. So I do. No, no. Yeah. no. Oh, I'm trying to get a little bit, a little bit of money. So that's why I always ask. I'm like, here's the mirror tell me what bothers you because they're like oh i want it to do this and i was like i can't like that's cutting skin yeah. off i can't do that with an injection so it's like if that's what you're looking for you're you're really going to need some plastic surgery and then refer them out so what else do you recommend for men's uh i guess you know skin care or age reversing oh, you know with yeah. along with that i'm sure you 
recommend or sell other products? Like, yeah, what, what, do yeah. you re- what do you recommend for a meal? Like, what should we do as we get older? I mean, the best thing you can do is sunscreen because guys do not wear sunscreen. My husband's a pilot <laughs> out there and I'm like, whoa, what's a spot? You know, but it's sunscreen. But the main thing is like everyone's always looking at the SPF like, oh my gosh, this is a hundred. That, that's marketing. Like is, yeah. as long as it's over 30, it doesn't matter. But what you need to look at is turn it over and look at the active ingredients. If it does not have a high percentage of zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, do not buy it. Okay. That's it. Um, a lot of the over-the-counter stuff, um, it's very white from the zinc. So it makes you look off, especially if you have yeah, tan skin. I am only doing that. So my husband can't wear that stuff. But if you get medical grade, like stuff that we have at our office, it's it doesn't have that white component and you can like, we have this stick that's amazing, especially for guys. I mean, you could get you that. can, you can put that on. Um, color science is phenomenal. You know, one of the things about sunscreen for me is, and, and by the way, if it hasn't been invented, I, this is, I'm stating that I'm, I'm going to patent this, <laughs> put spraying sunscreen on you or rubbing it on you is such a pain in the butt to do. So I want to, uh, invent, Wipes, sunscreen wipes. There, I get that. No, they don't. Do they have that? That's a good question. I don't have it. Well, do you, do you think it's I mean, a great it's idea? A, but I mean, if you're wiping, you're technically not applying, are you? You'd have to have it fully saturated. And, it would be saturated. Yeah. And then you just wipe it all over your body. That way, whenever you spray it at the beach, everybody's not like, <coughs> you're spraying your sunscreen, right? Yeah, that's so true. I think we should. I think we should make some of those wipes. There you go. I like the, I like the stick because... Especially for guys, it's so much easier, and it doesn't run where it's gonna. You're gonna sweat and get it in your eyes, yeah, you know. True. And it's just, it's you're basically, it's like using your hand as a wipe, and you're just. I need a. I'll get you one of those. You can try it out. I golf a lot too, and if See? I get greasy hands, though. Yeah. No, it's not. It, it's like a. It's like almost like a powder. Fit. It's. I'll. I'll get you one so you can try it out. Okay. And perfect. try it and tell me what you think. But I'll do it. I mean, that's anything. the main thing. You need sunscreen to protect, but then also using some good medical grade products, and investing into them to turn back the signs. Because if you get anything over the counter, it can't legally have certain active ingredients. So right. that's where medical grade is really good. Gotcha. I mean, if you're going to invest and get toxin and things like that, I mean, take care of it and for sure prevent it from. But prevention really. Got it. Yeah, sunscreen. I uh, I've got some good. I, I use good uh, cleanser, and then I'll use mm-hmm. some crystals. Uh, I got this like vitamin C, like skin hydrate. Oh, thing good. I put it at night. Yeah. Oh, so skin. you actually use it? See, that's the other part. Yeah. Like trying to get guys to actually use it. They'll buy it, and they're like, mm, "It's still sitting on my counter." I use it every night. Uh, okay, that's good. And then I have a buddy of mine that's in. Uh, he's actually in San Diego. He's got a company called Craftco. It used to be hair. He makes hair products, and he's making skin mm-hmm. for men. So he's got a new eye cream coming out. He's supposed to send oh, it to good. us. Oh, good. That's he's, very important. He's got some nice stuff, but uh, he's supposed to be shipping some of that to us. He was on episode number 16, if you would have listened Oh, to yeah. It. Well, I know that. I knew that you're <laughs> referencing that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so you know, like I said, us guys, we're getting older. We got to think about the stuff. Yeah. I mean, I really do, do. Because yeah. when you're on social media, you're doing stuff. And, yeah. you know, we're on a TV show. I mean, like, there's things that you got to be, that I think about. Uh same as any other guy. I mean, like I said, you, you can say you don't, you don't bother, you don't think about it, but yeah, people do in their own time think about it, or talk about it, or yeah, but wonder then, what they can do. And doing facials too, like we have the Diamond Glow at work. It actually has diamond encrusted tip that they use to exfoliate your skin. But then they're also you know infusing your skin with everything that it needs. So if you want, it's like a come in at least to get a deep clean. Yeah, you know, I get facials. Good. I need, I'll, come I, see, I'll come see you next. I don't. I don't get facials. I need to. But what I have started using is that uh, craft. The craft go. The, uh, the scrub. Yeah, but it's uh, what it has like uh, coffee grind. Oh yeah, yeah. It, so like physically exfoliate yourself, that which is good. Stuff is awesome. Yeah. And then I use that facial cleanser, like cleaner every every time I'm in the shower. Which so I do that once a week. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't lie. I'm a shower. Fa- <laughs> Once a I'm, month. I'm a shower <laughs> fanatic. So, so I clean my face a lot lately. But yeah, you know the the wrinkles. I never thought five years ago I'd get wrinkles. Um, my biggest downfall is whenever I smile, I squint, so mm. you can see it. And then my vision started going shot at 37. That my my far away vision. I had to like squint to look at stuff. Mm. 
so it put wrinkles there. Yeah, and you weren't wearing sunglasses either. No, not when I played. No, I only. Uh, and then yeah. especially playing golf, it's like he would wear a hat either. I'm like, I wouldn't wear a hat. Yeah. No. Hey, you're not wearing a hat. I'm just squinting. Like, I've had to. Ch- I've, 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 and listen, no sunscreen. I've yeah. learned. Okay, <laughs> I had three things cut off my back, and I've learned. So you're gonna get double toxed up today. I'm gonna. I'm that. gonna. I want you to tox me until I'm toxed out. <laughs> Talks me to death. <laughs> we did talk about we're gonna hold his eyebrow up. Oh yeah. Did he do that nice. one to where he has one eyebrow up? Yes. I, we'll just leave one. It yeah. looks like the rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. I know. Yeah. Good look. Well, and then we have the M sculpt at work, which it's. Um, have you ever heard of that? Uh. Uh-uh. So it's you're talking about the rock and all the muscles. So it's it's a machine that you place on your abdomen. You could do your arms, your legs, your calves, whatever. But it forces muscle contractions, like a tens unit. If you ever had yep. one of oh, those. Oh yeah, we have. But it forces on the podcast, that. Oh yeah. You need to try three. that. It was, oh, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we really did. <laughs> that was episode, like, did you guys five. do your face or something? Yeah, it was, I could see you guys doing arm. your yeah. face. Um, but it's equivalent to 20,000 sit-ups and crunches just in 30 minutes. So you can do that and get to but, your goal quicker. But are you sore? No, like you did you're 20- not. Because it has tapping where it taps out the lactic acid. Because the lactic acid okay. is what is responsible for so that. So you put this on the outside. It's external. You put okay. it on right in the center there. And it forces it. It's like, mm, and, your guys are going to have to come in and try and, it. And you we'll can't do, do this at home. No, no. It's a okay, medical so grade it's, machine. It's it is. It's, it's so what, you see results from that? Have you seen good results oh, yeah. from that? Really? So you yes. mean to tell me, right, hold on now. <laughs> oh, hold on. Like, I just did 20,000 sit-ups. You mean yeah. to tell me right now I could come in and I could just get a shredded sixer? Yeah, yeah. Well, and then I also prescribed the um, semi-glutide injections, you know, like the brand Wagovi for the weight loss. So we can debulk you. If you have any fluffiness, we'll get rid of that. And then we'll put the M-Sculpt on and... You'll be looking like the rock. Do I look like I have skull? Uh, do I look like I have bulkiness or fluffiness? I don't know. You're in a sweater. Okay. okay. No, absolutely not. I am. Uh, but it's a great option because then you could do both and get to your goal, especially with the new year coming up. Like if you have any resolutions or anything like that, you can get there quicker. It's just a little bit of help, especially think, as we get older, like our metabolism slows down and gets harder to lose that weight, especially like around the abdomen. You kind of do y'all have a therapist on, on staff for uh, addictions created by all this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> so good question. I, it's a I just, valid question. I, so, yeah, so no, when you do the no. when you do the M sculpt thing, you do long like, thirty minute sessions. Yeah, thirty minute sessions. Okay, dude, it's pretty cool. <laughs> It's it's impressive. Sign me up. How much is something like that? Um, so it just depends on like I would have to take a look at the area and see how much you would actually need because oh, everyone's different. Like if you, he needs, sure. he yeah. needs max session, dude. No, uh. <laughs> give him a punch card. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not heavy. I don't have a lot of fat. Yeah. So then, if you don't have like a lot of debulking to do or anything like that, then I mean, you'll get results pretty quick. But it literally has like where you can attach it to you the biceps. You could do it with the calves. You, yeah. So so we. Can, yes, you could just pump you up. So I don't even need to work out. <laughs> no. Dude, no. why are you tell me? You just this? come in. <laughs> I'm not worried no. about and my the girls. Heart. The girls will do their butts. Like it, it actually oh, forces I love that. it. I want to do my butt. And too. so you can get your glutes. Up. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want to do my butt. Honestly, Dude. I'm getting more out of this hey, than I thought I would. You're a greater oh, monster here. I know. You are because hey, I, and he likes to spend money, so he's perfect candidate yeah. for you. If, if I was a if I was female, um, I, here's my problem. If I was female, I would go to the extreme on everything. Like I'm one like a breast augmentation. Oh gosh. I would be no. like if we're talking uh, D's and C's. No, no. We're going triple F's <laughs> off the bat. Okay. And, and that's and that's how I am. Bigger the better. No, I don't think so. I think it needs to be Maybe I say that. Nice and natural. Yeah, exactly. It's different. But, but then yeah. we also have so that technology, we have it in a chair form. So we call it the boom boom chair. Ooh, which is I funny. Love that's it. a nickname. The the, the, the chair is, the boom boom chair is, lost is the M <laughs> So then that one's going to be, you know, like for sexual dysfunction for the females or males. Like it, it actually that can. That's the thing that rolls? No, it's it's like a chair. It's flat and you sit on it and it, it can actually kind of, it'll attach, your, it'll kind of force that contraction from the pelvic floor. So it helps for guys. It'll help you kind of maintain an erection if you, if you need help with that. What well, if you for have females, for longer than eight hours? Is that healthy? Yeah, probably not. No. <laughs> I took Viagra whenever I was 16. <laughs> At that Botox party? No, this yeah. is, a, this is a friend. That's what was on the tray. Some 50-year-old you dude know gave it to him. I know. <laughs> it's 
Botox. <laughs> Viagra and Botox. Yeah, well, we got yeah. a free sample. I decided to try. I'm questioning your choices. Oh, no. I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 needless, I didn't do anything that would kill me. I mean, but I did make some choices that were probably immature. <laughs> yeah. So you mean to tell me you've got a boom boom chair <laughs> that Dale can sit in? Is there a boom boom room in and there? And it'll mess There's with his boom, pelvic boom. floor? Yeah, so it, it'll just, it'll strengthen that muscle. Um, and for females, it helps to wear, like after you've had kids, you get older, you sneeze, and sometimes you pee a little bit. Because oh, yeah. it's like Kegels. Kegels. When I sneeze, okay. Crystal pees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So, no, yeah. she had C-sections, so, so she was but good. But then, especially if like you're doing a lot of workouts where like jumping and stuff like that, it gets hard. Yeah. And you can, you can pee. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, that, that can actually take care of that. Girls talk about that CrossFit. Like, yeah. Girls just have kids. Oh, yeah, they yeah. talk about that. They, so, so this isn't like something that would... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I've got so many questions, and i got to think they're... Uh, I mean, i got to somewhat stay appropriate. So this isn't like a, this is simply for muscle. It's not like yes. any sort of gratification. No. Type thing. So okay. it is for muscle building okay. so that you can actually maintain well, your control because it's usually stress urinary incontinence that's happening. That name's very you, misleading. You need that. Yeah. When I think boom, boom chair, I don't think what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Well, it does. So for sexual dysfunction, it does. I mean, by doing using that machine, there's different settings. So if you have urinary incontinence, we put it on that setting. If you have, you know, sexual dysfunction, we have one a setting for that that does help in the long run for the other stuff. I don't, I don't have that, but I'm willing yeah. to try it. Yeah. Set it, and forget it. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> We'll give you guys some wine. Oh you. man, the, is there? It'll be your boom boom chair. What is it? What was that? Um, the champagne room. Raise boom boom room. We'll yeah, give you champagne. Life. Yeah. There you go. The uh, so this medical building that you're in, you said was six stories. Mm -hmm. Is there any vacant units available? What you're moving in? Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking so. I could office out you could of there. Do your, you could do your podcast while being on the boom boom chair, and then we could get an office there, make it a studio. And then I could just get. We'll just roll the device. In. We yeah. we can we can just. Boom. How long do you sit on the boom boom chair? That's about thirty minutes, twenty minutes. Ooh, yeah. that's much longer than I'm used to. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was set up. Teeny bow. You text me, ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, that's, awesome. That's hilarious, man. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have to for sure uh, yeah. get on this. So we're gonna. So okay, okay, we're gonna get started here in just a minute. So one, so what do we need to do? So we're gonna, you want to take some? Are we gonna take before pictures? Yeah, yeah, we'll do photos and then get your after as well. And so then after, when do we need to come? Like when? Do, when do we need to come see you? Um, so I'll have you come come see me in in a couple of weeks just to make sure. I mean, it kicks in so quickly, but I want to give it a couple of weeks to kind of really see how you're doing. Like after the first of January sometime. Yeah. We'll come in. And then I'll take your pictures. We'll we're put not, them together. I'll send them to you. And if we're having trouble smiling. And you guys can try the Boom Boom chair. I'm not while you're I there. Will. And the M Sculpt. Yeah. That'll I be will, great. I will, boom, I will do both. Boom I'll M Sculpt. <laughs> I'll M Sculpt. I will Boom Boom. Oh, and one thing I was going to ask you. Do you all do like... Uh, plastic surgery at your we have a doctor we refer out to yeah okay yep so we do that as well um we'll refer you out to them we also do the exosome injections for hair loss if you start to thin out mm -hmm. the exosomes are just high concentrations of stem cells growth factors so that your body's actually it's regenerative medicine so your body can restore itself so we okay. do we have a lot of guys coming how does that, that work Does that work good it works very well, yeah. So because it's so potent, you only need usually one treatment. Like we Did have a lot of people fly in. Like do I have, men we have know people. About that? Yes, they find us online, um, and they will fly in to get it. Because so I need it's to get much. some information on that. Just like I have buddies. That'd, that'd be good to share with them. Regenerative. Yeah. What is it? Regenerative uh, med medicine. Just where your body is able to regenerate okay. itself. Gotcha. Okay. Instead of saying like, oh, we're going to do this, but it's only going to last a certain amount of time. It's, hey, we're going to put this in your body. Your body's going to actually make that hair follicle thicker, stronger. It's going to keep it more in the growth state rather than, you know, the resting state. Is and that localized to your hair or is it like? No, it's it's localized to your hair. Okay. Any areas that I you're wanna, losing hair. I want a fuller so you mustache. Actually, so. Yeah. So if you have patchiness or things like that, but it depends on why, then you can inject it. Yeah. Do you have um, anything to get rid of facial hair? Yes, so we have a laser? whole we have a whole machine that does everything. So laser hair removal that's really good for guys, especially when dude I want to do my when back, I want to do the back of my oh your neck I hate getting it yeah. trimmed up. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can do that as long as the hair is dark as dark uh, pigment. The the earlier the better because as we get older, it, you know, it can oxidize and turn into gray hair. It has to have pigment because that's what the machine picks up on. Um, but yes, and a lot of guys will do you know 
their necks because where you're shaving right here, you get all of those little bumps and that razor burn. Cause it's like, who's going to really grow out their beard to here? I don't know if that's a thing. No, Andrew, I don't, Andrew Luck did. I don't even, so. I don't even grow facial hair. So I'm, I'm good. So not a problem. This is about the most, most I have. Yeah. I mean, I can yeah. grow a little bit. And my, and I left my mustache thicker. I did everything shorter. I'm trying to mustache. And my, my mustache comes in black. <laughs> like this, oh, I gotta really? see this. Dude, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> no, it really That's does. Funny. When I was born, I, I kid you not. You so I'm, I, I'm German, right? So like my blonde hair, blue eyes is my family. When I came out, I had black hair. I had squinty eyes. And I was had my hands like this, like the whole time <laughs> in every picture. You would have thought that I was like some like I was Asian. I mean, literally, really? that's wow. yeah. I mean, I looked like an Asian structured child. Hmm. That's weird. And then, like four months later, my hair wasn't bla- it wasn't black anymore. It was like blonde. I, oh, I, like all your weird. after your baby hair fell out, it was yeah. blonde. It was the weirdest thing. Hmm. I don't know. I gotta talk to my mom about that. I think, <laughs> I think there I might be. Questions. I think there might be some something. Something's not right there. We'll figure it out. So how many kids you have? You have kids, I right? I have two. Yeah, two boys. I remember, I remember uh, one was Baby Yoda. That's yes, we, we met y'all. yes. We met them at our at uh, Halloween party. We did. That was at ours. Yeah. Oh, actually, it was at your house. That Halloween party, and he was the cutest man. Yeah. Was he, everyone was, he, was he, obsessed he, with Baby Yoda. He's is the he, baby. He's the baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now he's he's three. He's almost going to be four. Okay. Yeah. Baby Yoda's awesome. He's 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 quite. <laughs> wild yeah and how old's your other one my other one just turned um six okay so he's in kinder now you should have some more oh are you gonna take care of him no okay then no. Well, i don't take care of any kids no <laughs> no see and that's that's the male part like nope i just wouldn't be I good, we're at good. It. i love kids i tried i mean I'll I'll I'll, i tried for I, a girl like... got another boy i was like we're no. good and then i got my little dog that's a little girl so there you go it's me and her against all the guys it? a little french bulldog oh cool oh, those are french cool bulldogs. yeah oh she's the cutest those are cool her dogs. little snorts and she's yeah. just so chill i was like i need a lazy dog like i'm not a runner i don't i can't i need yeah. something that just lays there and is cute Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you home with a dog. Oh, <laughs> you already tried to get me your not, dog. Not the old one. Not the old. Oh, the, the big one. one. The, the, the big can... one. He's got a 185 pound uh, Saint Bernard. I didn't see it. Uh, no, oh, you no don't want to see him. We'll no, have to, there's... and that's another thing. I wanted a little dog. Oh yeah, you need a big one. <laughs> oh, it's my fine. husband wants a big dog. It's fine. Your vehicle's big enough. You know we can what? Put it, no. we can put it there. Tell tell your husband that you're saving my face with these lines, and I'm gonna save him with my dog. You're gonna repay us. What's your husband's name again? We call him Jax. It's his nickname for Jackson because he's tall, he dark, and handsome, fellas. I guarantee it. Very good looking dude. Very, yeah. I'm like, man, he's a big guy. He's huge, yeah. He's a big dude. It's great. I love it because it's like he's a bodyguard, you know. He's, or it's like him, his dad, his brother, or just all yeah. huge. They all play football, so it's like, so when we're out in the mall and stuff, I'm like, oh, I feel so cool. Like dude, I have he's bodyguards. He's, he's I look up to him. Like, yeah. he's a big fella. Such he's a nice guy, like, though. Tall and oh, yeah. bulky. Yeah, he's, he's he's pretty yoked. He's beefy, yeah. And he was a pilot. He's a pilot. Yeah. So he's kind of like me. Which most pilots are passed. like real small. Like if he went to flight school with my cousin, my cousin <laughs> is my size. And it's like, yeah. so in the, in <laughs> the, the attack Cobra, he's like this because it's such a tight cockpit. I mean, I got in that one day and I was just like, I can't move. I'm uncomfortable. So, you know, he had to hunch now that he's in fixed swing. He can actually spread out now, but it's like, I don't know how he did that. Oh, God. So long. Yeah, and it's like, and you see the pictures of all the pilots in Afghanistan and they're all little, he just, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's the one, like they're all jockeys. Yeah. <laughs> like, the yeah. one, like he gets pointed out at every picture. Yeah. The giant. Every time, di- every time he goes out in Afghanistan, everybody else starts retreating. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah. He's a big fella. Yeah. So well, that's right. good. Well, I let's, guess. Let's, let's get some needles in our face. <laughs> Start the stabbing. Yeah. Who's going to go first? You. Okay. So here's my thought. And it's okay to be honest. Who in your in your eyes has the better skin between Dale and I on our face? I think you got me. Yeah, I'd say you. I have the better skin. Okay, yeah. Dale goes first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Do do it I, because what I don't what I want to do is is I want while you're getting it done, like I want to make fun of you. Okay. And if I got it done first, I'm gonna look like an idiot, and it doesn't really ring as well. Why are you gonna look like an idiot? Well, because it's gonna you're gonna have little bumps. I mean, it's not it, yeah. it's not like unnoticeable. So you will. You've never had it done. Mm-mm. So so what it is? Um, I'm gonna inject. It's with an insulin syringe, so tiny, small needle. So a lot of guys freak out. I don't care you guys needle. don't yeah. know pain. He you wants know, a turkey you, baster. Oh yeah, we'll do like a big needle for you, Perfect. just for you. <laughs> um, but 
it's just a small injection, but I'm gonna inject the fluid in you. So as I do that, it's gonna look like mosquito bites. The fluid's gonna go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it takes like five, 10 minutes, it'll be absorbed, but you look a little like you got attacked and That's you know. even better. So Tem- like the dermatologist I go to, yeah. when he does the moles, he does salt water. Yeah. So Sodium ra- chloride. Raises it up. Yeah. And it's like you don't even feel it. Like it's so crazy oh, how yeah. they, like he the little shot, but you yeah, don't even yeah. feel cut. Like it's so wild how that raises Lift up. You say, yeah, we do this and it just dissipates yeah. in your skin. And after you're done, you somebody's gotta slap it in. It's called setting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I'll do that for you. <laughs> That's it's yeah. your first time Please only, so I've done it don't, before. Don't beat him. So you can't <laughs> massage it or yeah. slap it <laughs> afterwards. So Chris yeah. Chris said I can't lay down for a few hours. Yeah. So stay upright for a few hours. Don't work out. Not, you know, for 24 hours I mean, or so. He won't work out for 24 more years, so he's good. <laughs> so, Dude, that's okay. the in-sculpts. That's yeah, he'll do m sculpts I'm doing in-sculpt. m sculpt m sculpt yeah. Yeah, we're doing that. Uh, so just don't rub the areas. Stay upright for four hours. Don't work out. And that's kind of it. It'll start to kick in. I mean, the, the Daxify that I'm going to use on you guys today to try, it kicks in relatively quickly. Some people, like, you'll have to let me know. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, if it's already kicked in, um, you know, it could take a couple of days just depending on what area i mean you've never had it done so that'd be really interesting well, you're 15 get out of here <laughs> Dude, you're so fucking this pro. guy's a veteran botox <laughs> wasn't even out on the market and he already had it Dude, i love some underground they club. shot you with freaking roach propellant uh, it's, probably, yeah. it's probably concrete uh, yeah probably <laughs> snake venom yes oh no I, I remember them saying it was some sort of botox something i don't i don't know if it was botox but I do. So okay, real quick before we, what's the difference between D-Sport and Botox? Oh, D-Sport, Botox, D-Sport. Um, Juvo, Daxify—they're all different. types of toxins. Okay. So there's toxins and then there's fillers. So the toxins are going to be liquid, and that's to block all of the muscle receptors okay. from, pers- like you know, kind of folding that skin over to make the wrinkles. Okay. So fillers are going to be a gel, and the most common type is a hyaluronic. Yep. Filler. Hyaluronic so acid. So it's, yes, hyaluronic acid. I know that. And then um, that one's a clear. So that's going to be for any kind of shadowing, like under the eyes there. A lot of the guys will do the eye troughs and tear troughs. They'll do right here the nasolabial folds. Um, I do a lot of jaw augmenting. So you can actually get yourself a very masculine jawline with filler or into the chin. Like if you want, like Superman's like a, chin, like Jay a very chin. masculine, yeah. No, I not. Want, I want to get a surgery that I want like him makes to have, my. I want, I want him to have a butt chin. Can you like chin? Can you give him a butt G- chin? Give him a butt chin. I want to get like surgery that makes my my skin uh, like I look like I have a double chin. That's just body fat. So if you yeah, so if you have fat like little pockets like that, you can actually inject something. It's called deoxycholic acid. Brand name is Kybella, and it will you actually inject it into. It's it's on label for the cementum for this area, but honestly, like I inject a lot of like bra fat, back fat, any kind of pockets of fat. You can inject that, and then it'll dissolve it. It just breaks it down. Okay, well that's what we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get on the boom boom chair. <laughs> we're gonna do the gonna do skull. all the things. He's gonna be. I'm gonna be your. I'll be your biggest supporter. Yes. <laughs> what we got people waving. Oh, we got fans here that want to watch us get stuck. Okay. No. No. Tell Speaking her. Speaking of Botox. <laughs> oh. Here comes old Botox Betty right here. Y'all can't hear me. Yeah, we she's, can. she's oh, the only one I know that'll come in and and just completely destroy a podcast for her own selfish efforts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiki's jealous. All right, let's get some needles. All right, where's Magnus? Magnus went to the restroom. Okay, we'll wait for him to get back in so he can... Uh... Okay. All right, so we, we need to... Uh, do you have, like, brochures and stuff? Mm-mm. No brochures. I need to figure I out... I gotta bring get, brochures, but... I got to get an a la carte going. I feel like we could probably do a little bit every single day for the, for the next 15 what years. What is that? An a la carte. Yeah, like what do you mean? Just kind of like, hey, today I'm here for this. And then Tuesday I'm here for that. I'm telling you, I get addicted to this stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're talking about with our work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could do microneedling on your face. You could do a facial. I want it all. We, I mean, we have all the lasers for like laser surfacing. So if you have any hyperpigmentation or spots, you can actually just lift those up. The That's hair crazy. removal. So I, 
I had a, a widow's peak right here where mm -hmm. it like goes down and you yeah. look like Dracula. Hated that. So when I was working in Durham, we had a laser. So I lasered that off. I lasered everything off. Even like right here, my unibrow. And then just being Latin, we had, call them the Latino chops. Like uh -huh. where you have like dark hair, it's like your sideburns just continue. I love that. Um, and I was, yeah. And I, I mean, I'm, I was so hairy. Like me and my brother would, he'd make fun of me. And he literally still to this day calls me bro. Like I'm his little <laughs> sis brother. And he's like, hey, bro, man, you got more hair than me. And it was like thick black. So yeah, I, shave, I got I rid of all that. I shave my arms every, every week. Arms yeah, just too. get it lasered. Really? So much easier. Yeah, because now when we go last? on vacation, I, I mean, I have did this be permanent, like, doesn't it? Yeah, 10, 15 years ago. You just have to do all of your sessions. So when you do them every four weeks or so, continue until it's all gone. You can't just stop or like... You can't do it and then not do it for a year and then expect the same results. You gotta you okay. gotta stay consistent until it's all well, gone and then you're good. When we come see you, we're gonna get everything pricing and everything for full me. body. I'm gonna, yeah, makeover. Yeah, Dale and I do everything together, so yes, so. we'll get you the uh, honeymoon suite. Wait, can we, when we get the boom boom chairs, can we put them next to each other? So you can hold hands. <laughs> Dude, I've always said your pelvic floor is, is weak. Dude, I, can, I cannot. I cannot wait till your yeah, pelvic yeah. floor is pulsated. <laughs> God bless. She wants to frown some edge can't. <laughs> she got toxic. I know. <laughs> Poor I thing. Smile. Poor God thing. God bless her. Yeah. I got my movement. I but <laughs> my husband knows when I'm mad. But you, but you really do. Uh, you don't have any wrinkles at all. No. Like yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. got very nice skin, but I don't look crazy. No, you know? no, no, don't no look, you know. Or do I? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, you don't. I'm like, oh, I look great. No, <laughs> you don't look crazy. I mean, I wouldn't want to look like that. But, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, that's that's awesome. So, uh, what, what, are we still waiting on Magnus? Yeah, because he's gonna be videos. Oh, stuff. one of the things I forgot to say is um, the masseters. So if you bite down real hard and feel this big muscle that pops out, bite down hard. Oh yeah. Feel that. So a lot of times people will get headaches, migraines, um, because they clench or grind at night. So but a lot of like guys TMJ. will do that. TMJ. You ever yes. tell Chris about that? Because she's got that. So I have TMJ. And my jaw, it got so bad that I actually, I took a bite of pizza, which is not hard. And I dislocated my jaw. It was the worst pain of my life. What? And I was freaking out. And I was watching a movie by myself. And so I, my husband's in the kitchen. I run over there. I'm like, ah! I was like trying to <laughs> tell him. But um, he's like, what, what, what movie? Or he thought I was reenacting whatever I was watching. I'm like, what? And then I was like, oh, you're an idiot. Like, you used to work in the ER. You used to pop these back in. You know, I was like, huh. And he was like, oh, God. Oh, you did it? And so I popped it back in. Oh, my you God. You had to have pain from that. Oh, um, I, no, it was a relief. Because oh, really? it hurt so bad. Oh. It hurts just Located. And it's one of those, when it, it went back in, I was like, this is it. I'm going to Botox my, I'm definitely injecting my, so my masseters. And then you ever since then, that muscle? I inject that muscle so that you're not, it's not clenching too hard and you're not giving that she problem. Can't eat, she can't eat any food that's not soft anymore, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, my husband chews my food and then yeah, he baby birds me. He pre chews my food. <laughs> yeah, she so I injected into my masseter and I haven't had issues now. So that's something I, I always try I and. It, let patients know that I do I because a lot Crystal of people don't that. know that you can do something for you that. You can tell Crystal that because yeah. she has TMJ. Oh, yeah. So it's, that could be. It's a game changer. I mean, I would wake up because I would clench yeah. at night. Yeah, you know? That's, yeah, that's not good. No. I actually dislocated my jaw one time. Oof. And uh, I remember the pain not being in my face. I don't remember where mm -hmm. it was, but I don't feel like, like right it was. Right in here. In, it it's was, right where it attaches. It was like. I, I, yeah. Well, that's where it was for me. I was like, oh. I feel like it was in like my neck and shoulder. Oh, well, everything started so. spasming, probably. I don't know. I just know that it dislocated. Was this, was this at that underground um, party? It was on the way. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That was, that was, <laughs> that was that, that after. Was, that was the Dorfy. Yeah. I can't believe you got Botox at 15. Listen, I know. man. You know, it, I did. But especially like the area, the lip. Like, why, why do they choose to do your lip? Because I, I do it in the lip there for those little smoker lines. Mm -hmm. And then it's oh, also yeah, called the that. lip flip to where that muscle, it's like a circular muscle that lays like this, and it pulls your lip down, and it causes those lines. So you put a little in there, it relaxes, and it'll pop your lip up. Our friend yeah. got that done. Remember we were picking on her? Yeah. <laughs> we were actually, <laughs> uh, when on I her. was 15, I was actually, just what we do. Yeah. I was actually yeah. smoking <laughs> while they were doing it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I did. That was. I'm trying to get these smoker lines. Yeah, <laughs> be pre pre preventative. You know, yeah. I never told my parents about that. They know now. Well, they yeah, now they know. It's okay. I'm or you can do the it. chin when you get that. Like it's called the poda orange. The the little bumpies in here, like little pitting. A lot of females will get that to kind of smooth that out. 
I used to get milk bumps. Is that what they're called? What? Milk bumps. <laughs> she said, what? <laughs> That's a thing. How do you treat milk bumps? I, I've like never they're, heard they're of the milk little, bumps. Like, well, oh, the they're... milia. Like Mil- milia, the but little they, white. They're, they're called milk bumps, is what my doctor told me they were. Oh, that's, that's a <laughs> when amazing. I was young, when I was when I was young, I was like fifteen. <laughs> so, <laughs> as the same doctor that injected me. So, what do you what do you what are you gonna do for like what are you gonna do for me? Um, so what, what so furrow in real hard. Yes, yeah, so you definitely want to do right there. Bring your eyebrows up real oh, high. Yeah, we'll do go across that, <laughs> and then um, I can see your lines at rest around here. So I definitely, know. we'll yeah, you know, we'll do all right there. Okay. Ooh, I hope you brought a lot. I know. I, yeah, I, I need, need, a, need a couple a lot. bottles, I'll which is good, which is good. And that's what it's like. It's not a bad thing. You just don't want them to crease too hard. And then sometimes guys would be like, hey, I, I want some movement on my forehead. I just want them not to be so deep. So you can just sprinkle some across. It's really whatever that person wants, okay. you know, because I don't want you to be completely free. I want you to have some movement. I want you to be able to lift your eyebrows because you, you, this muscle, the forehead is the one that lifts. So sometimes people will say, well, I got these lines right here. I want those gone. But if you inject the muscle there, you can't lift. So then you're, you know, you're left like this. And if you have extra skin or hooded eyelids, you're going to hate that. So you really want to stay pretty high on the forehead. So you want to knock out this part, but either sprinkle some later once it kicks in, like when it's, I see you for your follow-up. Yep. I'll do up here, but then I want to see how much how that looks it re- it's relaxed. And then we can sprinkle some here. But you don't want to just knock it out your first time since I don't know your anatomy. All right, there he goes. Okay, we got Magnus back in here. So now we can... Back. So do I need to take these this off? Yeah, y'all, are y'all ready to cut? Um, I can. Let's, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna hey, we're going to keep rolling, and then we'll just cut this out, right? As big as I got. Oh, <laughs> 14 gauge. But. That's a big needle. When I put the needle in, I'll make sure that I really... <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it does, it's, I'll make sure I like really like I mean, it around gonna, in there. It's just going to feel like somebody's... Pro, it's just going to feel like somebody's pricking your yeah. forehead. It doesn't hurt. I'm not worried this about it. This is just for my constitution. I don't, I don't care about needles. Daddy wants to get rid of his lines on this forehead. Yeah, dude, get yours. Get yours done, boy. Look at that small. Look at that small. No. Yeah, you're 15. Oh, God. Bronson. I know. He's the wrong person. We can't fix that. He's with a head transplant. Why? Go like this. Vine, lift your eyebrows, your face. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So, so, Dale, have you already identified oh, no. the spots where you want to get injections? She told me. She looked at me. She's like, we need a lot of work here, but I'll try one of those. No, no, no. I was like, I'm not a magician. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do my... A V? I'm going to do his forehead. You're awesome. His labella right around yeah. there. Do I need to like put my head back like this? I'd probably say. I know you want to come around. I need to because um, I'm right-handed. I'll be injecting from the right side of the chair. There we go. Eyebrows up really, really high. Good. Okay, and then furrow in, angry face. Crystal said something. There we go. And then turn your head to the side a little bit. Good. And then smile really, really hard. Good. Good. And then go to the other side. Good. And smile really hard. Okay. Do you want to do mine real quick? Yeah, let me do yours. That's okay. It's funny because you're doing? Just at rest. Where your nose is. Okay, eyebrows up really, really high. Fingers 11. Okay. You got then 14. <laughs> what? <laughs> furrow in real hard. Like yep, there we go. Okay, and then turn slightly to the side. Careful, actor. And then smile really hard. <laughs> there we go. There's yeah, your new headshot. Like looks like a little leather glove. I know, don't be still. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> you're getting nervous, I can tell. Huh? You're getting a little nervous, I can tell. I can see it in your face. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I know you are. You, you, dude, you're the epitome <laughs> of big talk. Absolute no game. Oh, uh, but it sounds good to you, here. You, I swear, you play this bro card until it comes down to it. That packy chip challenge, oh man, this ain't gonna be no. <laughs> you about cry. There's no packy chip challenge. I mean, I've never seen this. So I'm gonna shock about it. Oh, I find it. How long have you been doing this? It's been like 10 years now. I just should have said today. Yeah, first day, first day oh, stabbing. I'm sorry. I'm doing my trials. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so, my clerk. so nervous and a little shaky. Oh, I know you're an artist. <laughs> Well, you're the first guy I've ever injected, so let's <laughs> see how that goes. First man. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> well, man. So your husband's been doing it? Yeah. How's he like oh, it? Oh my god, he was the biggest baby ever. Really? Oh, I probably shouldn't say this because you might have put him in the Oh, he's gonna this cry like a little baby. He was so funny. 
he literally got so scared, like I was right there, and he's like panicked, and he's like, ah, and I was already in the skin. He went, huh, and I, oh. I was like, oh my god, I, oh. his, I tapped his front, like his actual frontal bone, and bent the needle. Oh, I was like, you need to stop. You cannot move when I have a needle in your face. Like you cannot. And I was like, what is the point That's of all these rule. muscles if they're just decoration? I'm like, flex it out or something. I'm gonna have to stay still. It was so funny. And then I didn't tell him that until afterwards. But I was like, you bent my needle, you can't do that. He was like, what? <gasps> that is crazy. Yeah. But it's like, the bigger the guy, like I'll you. I think I'm, it. I'm not worried about needles. I, I, I'm not worried about that at all. Are you ready? Yep. Do you want to put your head back? Want to get an air date? No. Okay, so furrow in real hard. All right, face here we good. go. Relax and keep your eyes closed for me, because I'll be right here. So one, two, three, little pinch. How was that? Not too bad, right? Mm-hmm. Still trying a little bit. It's not bad though. You can make your eyes water. Can you feel it? Good. Yeah. Can't really talk. That's pinch. the thing. He's not able to talk. Yeah. Forget to breathe. Can't wait to, I've never took a selfie. I've never talked to take a selfie, you know. <laughs> I post a selfie every day. Face black. I, like <laughs> I woke up like this. Okay, I'm for one again, real hard. Okay, and relax. Pinch. Almost done. One more on the other side. Magnus is getting sick right now. He's like, gonna <laughs> puke. <laughs> Puke on his lap, Magnus. All right, that area is done. Bring your eyebrows up really high. It looks okay. older. Relax. <laughs> and that up again really high. Good, and relax. So a little punch here. The, up again, real high. This part is the, is the YouTube and not pick. the audio. Up real quick, good, and relax. Well, oh, we don't have the. No, there's, there's, there's so much, there's so much dead space. Yeah. Or you're gonna add music to this or something or something? Oh, we just we'll just cut it at the end of the show. Be her going to think they have to watch YouTube to see all the. And then we'll to see this part because you, you this, are, this oh, isn't yeah. something for audio. This is for yeah. video. This is for visual to see all the stuff. And then after you and I are okay, done, we, we can kind of sit back way. down and close it. Smile real big. Good. And relax. And yeah, smile again real big. Hard. Good. And relax. Why do you say that? Just because sometimes your eyes are right here. Felt that one. Oh, yeah. These are a little more sensitive. Mm -hmm. That's all done. So just one more eye. <laughs> and smile real big. Good. Relax. This this stuff doesn't bother me at all. Alright, you're all done. Wasn't terrible? Nope, not at all. Eyes, really done. eyes are the worst though. Yeah. It takes like two seconds. Pretty good. For my office to be so much quicker. Cause I'm like, it's like NASCAR. Yeah, those on the cheek, the high cheek on your eye. Those yeah, are, right there. Those are sensitive. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, I gotta get this fancy sack. Do you want to picture your bumps all over your face afterwards? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to picture yeah. your bumps everywhere? Oh man, you look <laughs> horrible. Is it bleeding? No. Any all right. blood? Huh? I'm assuming that I'm going to do it in the same chair. Yes. That feels weird. Okay, so pretty? Did you go to the boo-boo chair? Dude, I don't go to the boo-boo chair. Fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know how grateful you are till today. Dude, you get <laughs> Botox and think you're 14 years old. And that's the thing, like, now that you guys see, like, your wrinkles, this is where you're going to start looking at everyone's face no. and the eyes, and you're going to be like, you need this, or you're going to be like, I can tell him he gets it done. Hey, I'm going to send them straight to you, like, hey, yeah. I'm going I'm to be a walking billboard for you. Good job. A lot of guys, they don't get picked on, but that's like me, I don't care, so I'm going to tell people about it, and then they're going to be like, don't tell Dale I came here, but I'm going to Adam Buzz <laughs> Well, I, I can't say who comes Adam anyway. Adam see you? <laughs> we swear Adam There is something talks. called HIPAA. Yeah, I, I, exactly. I, I can't. Like, damn. I was like, I can't. I, I, I told I, Danielle that. I'm like, Danielle. She's like, no. I'm like, yes, he does. You cannot tell me that he don't get freaking Botox. Does Busby Adam come see you? Uh, <laughs> you okay. Yeah. We'll say it till he debunks it. Oh, yeah. Y'all are recording. Or, no, we're recording the whole thing. Cal, can you believe your dad's doing this? Oh, baby. <laughs> He's not surprised. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> not surprised. Row in real hard. Good. And relax. And keep your eyes closed. And go right here. Are you one, two, three? You oh, okay? yeah. Mm-hmm. Not too bad? Mm-hmm. Good. Look at it. And then for row in again. Good. And relax. It's a little pinch. Is that mainly the only spot you do for guys? That's mainly what you need to get? Like these areas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then the, the masseters usually. We didn't even give Vaughn a jawline, but he looks like a man. Dude, stop trying to make me laugh because I'm oh, going to laugh. <laughs> and then I'm going to get pissed at you. <laughs> All right, throw in my heart. Good, okay, I'm relaxed. Uh, it's hilarious. You really enlightened us today, Pelican. Touch you a lot of things that now you know. Oh, yeah, this is way more fun. Fo- I-, I wanted this to be a format oh, for fun. men. Yeah. I want to buy a boom boom chair. <laughs> I, hope, I want to make sure that our audience, they, they women will play this for their husbands. Yeah, for sure. Because they need to know. I rose up real high. Good. And you relax. don't have to live with wrinkles. And then up again real high. Good. And relax. Wrinkles are of the past. Yeah. What part are you doing right now, Vaughn? He refuses to answer you. Forehead. Forehead still? Yeah. That's a good one right there. What you do? The forehead just feels like the eye. What you do? Eyebrows up real high. Good. And relax. The high cheek part. Here, I'm done. Judd messed with cheese. Sorry, Sam. Why didn't you have the gym? So we get Botox. Did you tell him that? You were going to the gym? Why is it bringing the phone to my camera? Are you okay with a little bit of blood? Magnus? He's gonna pass out. Oh, I need- I saw him uh, I'm good on blood. Okay, but, yeah. I saw him bite his lip. I was like, oh. Please don't. Okay. Smell real hard. Good. And relax. And smell again real hard. Good. A little pinch. That's a good one. These ones are. Ooh, yeah. They're a little spicy, huh? Oh, wow. Told you. Those freaking stink. Is that stink. better? Mm-hmm. Cry, baby, cry. Girls, we got the good stuff, the new stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that new, new. Ah. <laughs> Are you ready for Christmas? I was just literally thinking of Christmas, and I was like, this is um, Lindsay and Kiki's Christmas present. You guys will have smooth faces. Dude, so you don't embarrass them in public off. anymore. <laughs> Smile real hard. Good. Here, Alex. Like, yes, I can go to Yeah, we found this. If I start getting out of eating them, I'll Yeah, you will start. Yes, Bob. It's really not bad. You'll see. No, not too bad. No, they'll go away. They'll I know what they do. Hey, that was yeah, good. Yeah, I know. It was at Christmas time. This Christmas party will be looking fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, luckily it kicks in really quickly. Well, you look like Macaulay Culkin and my girl. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this casket. Like in the casket? <laughs> After. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All for a mood ring. <laughs> All for a mood ring. Freaking <laughs> Vegas. All right, I'm staying in the middle. Come stand in the middle. Well, we just finished up getting our Brotox done you're bleeding on your eyebrow a little bit dude just a little bit it's hey pain's beauty's pain isn't that how it goes is that yeah. how it goes no pain. pain pain's in the eye of the beauty <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. This was awesome. Thanks. Thanks I, for having me. And it didn't hurt. It wasn't too bad, right? Didn't hurt. No. Mm-hmm. So we, we did have one question from uh, Magnus off camera. He from wanted to know if you do this kind of preventative stuff now, like, does that really that that help you from like later on in life needing to get under the like scalpel yeah for to prevent plastic surgery so doing everything preventative definitely helps because you know sometimes there's patients that come in and they're really a plastic surgery candidate because they've never done anything and okay never done any toxin or fillers but the younger you're doing it now that's kind of the talk track is doing it preventatively so that you actually never need anything like that so yeah there is a point to where you may not need any plastic surgery if you maintain everything that you have um, but then there's also those one patients that, you know, I mean, if it's like skin laxity problem, that's completely different Then that will need plastic surgery. But a lot of the stuff. Yeah, definitely. So what's the youngest people will do this? Like what's the earliest well, like you recommend? Like 21 or so. Oh, well, I mean, that not, not that young. No, no, no. I thought you meant like, cause like 21 people are coming in for lips. Um, I mean, honestly, whenever you have those lines at rest, then you're, it's good to come It doesn't matter any time. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I mean, I was in my 20s and <laughs> I had deep set wrinkles in my forehead. And hairy arms. So, yeah, and hairy arms. <laughs> yeah. I was like a little man child. So That's is there... My brother calls me bro. <laughs> is, is there like a, uh, is there like a minimum age that somebody can do this? So it's like, yeah, do you have to be 18 or older? Yeah, you, you do. But I mean... Also, if you're that young, I, you no, normally don't need it like you at 15, you know. <laughs> we keep bringing that up. <laughs> I got a lot of questions about this off air. I know, off air. I know, story I, I'll this. give you the real answers. So. Uh, well, yeah, so this, is, this has been awesome. Good, good. So how was the pain level? How was it? It, it didn't hurt at all. It was really like... It was, it was like the the only ones I felt really was when you did the ones for yeah. the like the for crow's, the the crow's yeah. feet. Yeah. That was, that's yeah. Those are pretty spicy. Makes your eyes water sometimes, but... Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. No, it's good. I think it was, it was, man, it's actually quicker. Like even It's very quick. We were surprised how quick yeah. it was. But, but that's, so what you did for us, that's what you mainly would do for any male yeah. come in. Yeah. Do, you know, the, the upper face. We have a really good package that'll do that. Um, and then if you, you know, you do that teeth grinding to where you yeah. have that TMJ or problems um, clenching at night into the masseters, those big muscles, you can inject those and then help with that. So that's another option. But okay. that's usually what the guys will come in for. Well, this this will be our last episode of season one, so Ooh, you'll be closing hey, out. You'll be, you'll be closing out the end of the year for nice. us. Do we not have one more? No. Tomorrow. Now that he said that. Tomorrow, and then, then after that, it's next week. Well, I think no, no. But the one we film tomorrow is gonna. That would be the last one. Yeah, right? but it won't be it. It'll be beginning of the next year. Oh. Uh, well, oh. There's two and a half weeks left in. Huh. You know what? We'll figure that out. Okay. Anyway, this. So I. I, I this could possibly be. This great. could possibly be the end of. We may hold this season. until the end of the last season. Because I. Well, one because this has got a YouTube video in it that we want to mm-hmm. make sure that is seen. So we may do that for timing wise, to close out the whole first season, which would be cool. So. Yeah. But the good thing is we got a lot of. And with a bang or a step. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot mm-hmm. of good information out of this. This is even like I knew this would be fun. I this we, I think we got more of it than we expect it i came i came here wanting to just get a couple little botox and here i am now i'm now i'm getting a six pack i'm getting a boom boom chair <laughs> we're doing the work I, mean, no, I think for like i said you off offline i was like it'd be cool for we have a lot of uh female followers as mm-hmm. you can imagine from the show so far and uh hopefully you know they'll play this for their husbands yeah they'll hear I mean, it more guys our age because it, it is something that's not really talked about yeah but people are doing it and it doesn't need to be as taboo no, as it, it doesn't. should. It's, I mean, it's it's about you don't look older than you are. Yeah. So why not take care of yourself? True. And a lot of the times, like for the first visit, the wife will bring the husband in, and okay. he doesn't even know. Sometimes that he's like, oh, it's that's like intervention. Cool. Yeah. And they're like, do you want to do it? And they're like, yeah, sure. So we just add him on oh, nice. uh, while they're there. Or the wife is like, I, you know, I want him to have this done, and he's like, I have no idea why I'm here. I, I'm just gonna sit here. What <laughs> my wife tells me. me. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we have the ones that come in on their own and get it done and maintain it. And yeah. In the beginning of uh, the new season for next year, we need to do uh, manzillion waxes. Oh no! <laughs> Live. <laughs> Live. Yes. <That'd> be <laughs> yes. Awesome. Look at do Magnus. Laser, he's getting all happy. Laser hair removal. I've been wanting. I've been wanting to do some laser hair removal. They're, they, I just. I. I don't know. I got a thing with. No, I don't know. It's not bad. It's I not would, bad, not, but then you don't. I mean, you don't. If you wax, you're gonna have to continue. I mean, it's do not that. the pain thing. I'm worried. I don't know. I don't know. But for the long run, it, 
it would be, you know, better to zip, zip. I'm going to do that. You should do it. When you're there for your M sculpt and your, all your man stuff, we're going to Can I, zip, zip. can I boom, boom, M sculpt and, and laser? Yes. And do it all. With Dale in the room. Dude, yeah. how many, how many, oh, yeah. how many people you got on your staff? You're going to yeah. need, you need the whole team. I know. We're going to do some more hiring. I'll put them on payroll. <laughs> Yeah, we, we can take. We'll just pay a retainer. Yeah, yeah we exactly. just drop in anytime. We'll do a monthly over. retainer from the Dale Not Dale podcast. Yeah, that's a write off. It is a write off. It is a write off. Yep. yep. Our health is a write off. <laughs> <laughs> it's written off. So, so awesome. Well, yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming yeah, in, Helka. Thanks for having Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh, this was this was fun. So. This will be a fun one to put out and uh, very informative. Yeah, so. yeah. And if you have any questions, they can reach out and then. I got your number, so I'll text you. Yeah. Let's, let's, let us know when you want us to come back. Yeah, for and sure. And then we'll line we'll that up, up and that. we'll come there, do some, yeah. we'll film there yeah. as well if we can to kind of come talking in with you yeah, for everyone, the recap. So I'm at Bay Area Aesthetics. Um, it's here in the Houston area. So you can call them. Their number is 281 229 5223. Hit zero, or you can also um, check them out on Facebook. I have Instagram that I put a lot of my before and after photos on. If you have questions, you know, shoot out a DM. And when I share this, you know. when I share the episode one, we'll put on social media. We'll tag oh, your stuff. Yeah, yeah. We'll put all your stuff on there. Then in the in the notes on the podcast and on YouTube, on it'll show your website, your your stuff cool. to fi- people can find you. So. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's exciting. We'll help you guys are gonna have. We'll help promote you. Uh, Dude, I can't wait. I'm excited. My friends will be so jealous. Yeah, they and they're are. gonna pick on me. But yeah. either way, uh, I love it that <laughs> if they don't pick on you, they don't love you. I can't. Even, I'm gonna be able to frown at them. I know no. it. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them how much you hate them. Yeah, <laughs> you can't wrinkle my parade. <laughs> All right, yep. well, it's been good. Yep, thank, thank you, Helka. Thank yeah. you. Thanks All for right. having me. Peace.